Hi traders, this video is dedicated to scaling your GAN fan in NinjaTrader 8. It's part one of two videos on the topic of GAN and in particular the usage and setup of a GAN fan, one of GAN's most popular and powerful charting tools. Make no mistake, there's a ton of really botched information out there on the topic of scaling your GAN fan. So we're going to pick the apple right from the tree on this one. We're going to be pulling in the work of the very esteemed and very well published GAN authority, Michael Jenkins. I want to run through what Jenkins calls his easy chart scaling technique, a very little gem from his stock cycles forecast. I'll put the link below for those who want to study it and trust me I encourage you to study it because it's a really generous offering and there's some diagrams to go with the words which will flesh out the technique. It's titled Traders Tips Proper Scaling of Charts. The easiest way is to set up a time and price grid based on an initial impulse wave top which represents one unit of price advance and a time grid that puts one fourth of the time unit at that first top. I do this, he writes, because for most charts the initial impulse is the strongest move and usually a 4x1 angle is the strongest. Label the first initial top after the low as 1 and use a 4x1 box grid with the 1 fourth time unit set to that top. Now we have a distorted rectangle quadrant that is in the same distortion as the chart's time and price scale. There you have it, the man's a genius. He's made this very easy no matter what your level of GAN mastery is. So now let's apply this idea to a chart. I've got up a Euro Yen, it's a day chart and I'm going to work from this low up to this high and call that my first impulse wave out which is what Jenkins says we will do. And I'll join those two points with a line. Now we launch a GAN fan and we're going to line up our 1x4 angle on the GAN fan to the low high connection of that impulse wave. Now you'll be noticing that to get the right points per bar on the GAN fan I'm having to go in and out of the properties panel multiple times as this is largely a random input of numbers until I strike the accuracy that I'm looking for. Now to make this a whole lot quicker and easier I'm going to get rid of this GAN fan and launch instead the GAN fan speed key tool. Which will allow me to fiddle with the points per bar input value direct from this on screen window. Nice little time saver. Boom, there. Happy we could uh, call that our mark we have our points per bar outcome. Now this is not a Jenkins thing, more of my own thing, but before I sign off on this scaling I'd like to just take a peek at the same angle of ascension but plotting it from the line chart of the low to the high point just to see if that's better. Price action will soon tell me. And if we're pulling in the jury on this one I think yep the line chart scaling has given me some better play so as a matter of discretion that's the outcome I'd personally would work to on this one. I'll leave part one there. The next video in this series will look at the new GANFAN tool in NinjaTrader 8 that puts all of this to your intraday charts so that you can now play that game of using the strategy of the big picture but using the close-up of the intraday timeframes to needle your best entry with your tighter stop. Head over to my website for a closer look at the Speed Key tool and other signature GAN and Fibonacci tools I've created to help you trade better. Or hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video.